everybody and thank you so much for coming to uh, this fourth session and the last session of uh, Self Love The Way To Success. And it's just lovely to see you all on here. We've just had a little discussion about, about self love, what it is, you know, um, what it is about and are we really being uh, loving ourselves? And the discussion was around our own experience and how we we seem to, well, we think that we, we've learnt it the hard way because our parents didn't tell us about loving ourselves. I didn't, our parents didn't tell us about, we have to go within and we have to explore, find out who we are, how, you know. Um, our parents didn't know that. They didn't know how to teach us that. Some, some were very lucky. Some people are very lucky because their parents were probably, you know, just going into the hippie period in the 60s. Uh, there are a lot of parents who were very kind and considerate and compassionate. And, um, and I truly believe that we choose our path when we come here and we choose our lessons, the lessons that we have to learn. And, and that whatever has happened has happened, uh, it was meant to happen. And I know personally that I wouldn't be where I was to, I am today if it wasn't for all the experiences and the learnings that I've had on the way. And um, like, like Ritu said, you know, we don't blame our parents at all because mm -hmm. they did the best they could um, with what they got. I know my, my father, he, his mum, uh, his dad passed away when he was two and his mum mm -hmm. died in when when they got to this Japanese camp um when he was 17 so he was yeah so he's actually raised you know his well he was in the concentration camp for uh I think he went in when he was 17 and he came out in uh I don't know three or four years later um he went in a boy and he came out a man and we never knew the extent of what he went through, what he suffered, because like I said, we were told we were not encouraged to talk about stuff like that. And he, it wasn't until he passed. And my actually it was my niece who, she had this project at school. And uh, it was to talk to somebody who experienced, you know, who was in the war. So she interviewed my dad. And it wasn't until I read that, that I found out how awful it was. It was, I can't explain, and I don't want to talk about it here, but it's just like, oh my goodness, you've carried that since you were 17 <clears throat> and you've never ever spoken about it, you know. So you can understand why when he got angry, you know, and, and in those days, to chastise you, you got, you got caned, didn't you? You got, you got hit, you, well, I did, <laughs> you got caned. Uh, actually, I was lucky because I was a little bit on the ill side and I think I was my dad's pet. So my brother and sister used to get the cane and I used to, they were the ones going like that and I'm the one crying my eyes out because they were being caned, you know. Um, but yeah, we, we don't, don't know their story. Well, I didn't know my parents and my mum, she was in, so my dad was in Singapore. They had to walk to Burma um, to this camp and my mum was in Burma. No, sorry, they had to walk to Malaysia and my mum was in Burma during the war. So, you know, our parents went through the war a lot of our parents went through the war. So, so I'm going to lighten the, uh, the atmosphere now. <laughs> so, yes, it, it's Thank you for sharing that with us. My pleasure, my, my pleasure, Kawinda. Mm -hmm. you, you can keep this in, too. Thank you. Um, so this is all about self-love. And, and my personal journey was uh, after I got divorced, I... Um, had my son, you know, there's me, my, my son and I, and um, when my son went to his dad's, at times I didn't want to go home because I thought I'm going to be on my own. I don't want to be on my own. And then I, through a friend dying, I found out about a spiritualist church and I learned meditation. And when I learned meditation, I could not wait to get, get home. I would come home and I would sit down and I'd just say, I want to be, I want to do meditation for half an hour and I'd close my eyes and I, I seemed to be going down this dark hole. But half an hour later, I would come back and I suddenly found this inner stillness, this 
inner peace. And I just couldn't wait every day to get back and find that. Mm-hmm. And that was the turning turning point for me because I suddenly realised. And I used to go, I used to do karate then. Mm-hmm. And we'd go, after we did karate, we'd go into the bar and have a drink. And I would see these people drowning their sorrows in drink because if you know they've split up, had a bad relationship, or they've fallen out with someone. And then I used to sit and look at them and think, that's not the answer. You know, you have to go within. You have to find out, find your peace within. And also, you know, looking at other people, going from one relationship to the other because they're wanting somebody to give them love. And it's like, the love that you want is within yourself. And when you find that love, you find your joy, you find your happiness and you radiate, you radiate that love and you radiate that joy and you radiate that happiness. And when you do that, when you fill yourself up, then you can help other people even more because you are willing to help them. Not because you've been told to help them, not because you've been conditioned to help everyone, but because you want to, because it's your passion, it's your desire. And that's how you help people more than doing it because we've been conditioned to, which we all have, we all have. So thank you very much for that. Thank you. And so we're here today because of Ritu Sharma. And uh, Ritu has, she's, we were talking earlier, she's a connector. Um, Like, um, I've lost you. Um, Barty. Barty. You were hiding, that's why I couldn't see you. (laughs) (laughs) We just discovered we've got two really good connectors on here. Uh, Barty in Leicester and Ritu in uh, in Birmingham, Walsall. Yeah. And yes, so Ritu, um, Ritu's passion is to connect women all around the world to help them empower themselves. And she has um, created this not-for-profit organisation called Kachalia UK. And this is why we are here. Um, th- this is one of the projects that Ritu has organised. And the aim of the Kachalya UK is to help women from all walks of life connect, whether they are entrepreneurs or not, just to get together so that you don't feel on your own, you've got other people you can connect to. Ritu's formed a, a WhatsApp group and it's lovely to be on there because people are just putting up what they do uh, and if they've got any problems, asking for help, which is something that I think we don't do enough. A lot of us have to learn that lesson to ask for help. And that is one of, another way of loving yourself is saying like, actually I need help and who can help me? Instead of thinking we have to do everything ourselves. Mm. Rich was also the author of Rich Man, Poor Man, Poor Man's Daughter. No, Rich Man's Poor Daughter. I've got it here, I can't read it right. <laughs> and um, that, I recommend you read that book. That is uh, The Struggles, Tribulations, and also The, the Victories of Ritu's Life. Um, the Kachalya UK, it runs four projects all year round to help empower women. And the projects are education, financial education, and entrepreneurship, um, health and well being. And she organises social events. So really looking forward to the physical social events. Hopefully, I don't know, this year? Shall we manifest it's this year? Or is that too too much? <laughs> inshallah, inshallah. <laughs> so do you want to say a little bit, a little something, Rita? Very briefly. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, and I just want to welcome everybody to today's uh, session. And we're all looking forward to this. We've had an experience with Jay before and we were totally blown away. And so Jay is going to keep coming back in our sessions, definitely. What she does is totally wonderful. And there are more than two connectors on this call today, Audrey, and I'm sure uh, Nirmal has one. And I'm sure there are more uh, that I don't know of, but definitely more than two. 
and it's it's not about you know myself or just my journey what i realized when i started this initiative uh, organization of kushalin uk was that there are so many women like myself who feel devoid of love opportunity uh, fairness in you know uh, when we are when we when we approach when we approach or when we approach stuff we not dealt with fairness and therefore um, the need to create this and and we always talk about self love and we always do practices and workshops and projects around uplifting ourselves uh, so that could be around professional development or personal development as audrey said that's one of our big projects that quite a few of our activities fall under um, the the whole idea of kushala uk is to empower and uplift women and can i just say a disclaimer here which i tend to say anytime i talk about empowerment that empowering women does not mean we are anti men we're not anti men in any way we do need men in our lives and the earlier we accept it the better and vice versa we can't exist on our own we're meant to coexist and the good thing is we're meant to coexist in harmony and empowerment is just understanding yourself better knowing yourself better and knowing what skill sets you have and how you can develop yourself further and understanding yourself and accepting yourself wholeheartedly that is empowerment and social events audrey unfortunately i don't think we're going to have them physically in a live uh, in a room set in uh, this year but i am planning to do an online social event with a twist where we'll have all load of entertainment etc and of course people who are connected uh, we will keep all of you informed about that please do um, like our facebook page which is just kushali uk and we post all our activities there as well i am on facebook and linkedin and instagram if you guys would like to connect with me i'd be more than happy uh, to do so and uh, there are activities that are going on we also have a let's talk happiness project running at the moment which happens twice a month um, if you are happy to join our whatsapp group please uh, leave your number i'll say i'll text my number on the chat so at the end so if you want me to add you to my whatsapp to our whatsapp group i'd be happy to do that as well uh, we'll also be learning a, uh, running a public speaking course in uh, february probably uh, next year which would enhance people's um, interpersonal skills communication skills so i think i'll just stop here audrey otherwise i'll take up the whole time i really don't want to do that but thank you very much welcome everybody and have a great time with us today thank you so much Thank you very much, Ritu. So, yes, uh, I think Ritu will put the, her information up here in the chat if anybody wants to take her number, email address uh, or anything like that. Uh, so, yes, loving yourself, how do we love ourselves? Uh, the way I found, like I said, what really worked with me was to find, to meditate and really be mindful Mindfulness is really, really good to get you into the moment, and get you out of your head. The, the trouble is when we, when we get overwhelmed, when we're rushing about, we're just in our head all the time. So it's very, very important to really be conscious about what your thoughts are, what you are thinking. And when the negative thoughts come in, stop if you can stop them or just think of something happy. You know, think of somebody who you love, or think of any, somewhere where you, you love being, um, or just watch some comedy, something, you know, just to get your head out of your mind away from all these thoughts that are coming in. Lots of um, self-help books, um, books on spirituality as well. Really, really good. That helps me a lot to, all I want to do, my purpose in life here, for me personally, is just to raise my spirituality go to the next level go to the next level and the reason i want to do that is i want to attain a level where i'm at peace or even joy well i'm at joy but i like dip again but it's, it's keeping that no matter what happens around you no matter whether the kids are shouting and yelling and screaming or you know you've got an, an ill parent or, or child or friend or partner um you can keep that that inner peace that that joy within you so again like i said earlier so that you're radiating it when you're at that level of happiness and joy you just automatically you radiate it and that is so helpful that is so healing for the people you are around 
or even the people you think about because we are very powerful we are energy and we are all connected so have you um have you had it where you've thought about somebody or they've wrung you or you've wrung them and they're like i'm just thinking about you and just talking to them they say you know they say oh, oh i feel so much better now you know just by talking to them or even sending them healing and sending them heal people healing is just phenomenal because we are all healers every one of us are healers and just by smiling at somebody and like i said uplifting somebody you're healing them you know people think you've got to have you know the special gifts the healing hands no you don't we, we are all every every one of us are healers because we care because we have the compassion because we have the love but it's important that we fill ourselves up with the love and with the compassion first so so today we have got the wonderful Jay Regani. <laughs> Give us a wave, Jay. <laughs> and Jay, um, she's she's been a mindset uh, coach and a sound practitioner. She's been a mindset coach for twenty years and also a hypnotherapist and a mindset and a, a, a sound practitioner for about eight years. So this session is going to be about chakras. So do you all know about chakras? Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> um, so it's just uh, running through the chakras and what Jay is going to do. I'll let her into, well, just say a little bit about what she's going to do. So uh, I don't know if you know, but if you can find a space, if you can lie down, where you can lie down while Jay plays her music, it's not her sound bells. So I'll just hand you over to Jay to just do a little introduction. Thank you. Thank you for that, Audrey, and thank you, Ritu, for inviting me back. It's lovely to be back here. So, um, so lovely to see so many people on here, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. So I just want to talk a little bit about sound, um, and feel free to ask questions once I finish talking about it, because you're probably thinking, what is sound therapy? Because I know a lot of people haven't come across it yet. It's still fairly new in terms of holistic therapies. Um, so not everyone's experienced it, which is really nice why we come on a forum like this, where people can get that opportunity to experience what it can do for you. Now, this is nothing new. Um, it's been around for hundreds of years, hundreds of years. So if you think about music, music is sound. You will listen to different types of music and it will create a different energy for you, a different emotion. So if you listen to fast music, and I'm going to, because quite a lot of people here are Asian, Indian background, we've just had Garbas, right, recently. All right, we couldn't participate, but we could listen. That is usually quite fast music. So you feel really joyful, happy, and you dance. Um, you will also have quite slow music, which is a much slower pace. So what I can resonate with would be music, which may be romantic music, like on the films that we watch on TV. You could also be chanting something like a like a you know religious chant of some sort. That is much slower and a much deeper level of vibration. So music has been around, and sound the the whole essence of sound has been around for a long time. So culturally, hundreds and hundreds of years ago, the Greeks used to, the Greek doctors used to use drums, big shamanic drums. In fact, I've got some, but not readily available. And they used to tap them and put people like in a room for healing. And they used to have the snakes and things like that to make the hissing sounds, but they used to use drums and chimes and things like that. So that was in the Greeks. The Egyptians did the same. Um, you have the Hindus that if you go to a temple, what do you do? You, you ring the bell as you enter or you're sitting there and you're doing different instruments while you're singing or praying. And you've got it in Buddhism as well, that they play instruments as well. The combination of chanting or vocals and music is even more powerful, which is what we're going to do today. Um, so when I say um, vocals, that vocals can be singing, I'm not going to sing today. <laughs> what I will do is chant a few bits and say a few words in between 
the sounds that I'm going to make. Now, the sounds will have different vibrations. What is a vibration? It's the frequency of that instrument. So I've got lots of different instruments with lots of different vibrations. These and the ones I've chosen today are particularly for each of the main seven chakras that we're going to be talking that Audrey's going to talk about. So it's predominantly going to be crystal bowls of chakra level. And we're going to use that with some words and with a bit of chanting to really um, shift your energy in your body. And from a modern, so it's not just an ancient tradition, it is actually modern science as well. Um, if you look at the field of quantum science, for some of you that are from that background, you will know that it's been proven over and over again that energy travels, sound travels. And this is why, why sound healing or what people call sound baths can be so powerful because it does travel. And you may think, well, I'm on the laptop or an iPhone or whatever device you're using. How is it going to help me? But we have to remember that in the world of quantum science, sound energetically travels. And there's so many experiments been done about this. And it's been proven that it does work. So today will be about shifting energy and particularly working with the whole chakra system and really endorsing the whole area of self-love. Because self-love, as Audrey mentioned, comes from within. It's not on the outside. If you reach outside, you're forever reaching outside. We have to learn to go within. And part of that is balancing your energy system within your body. I think I'll stop there for now, Audrey. Thank you very much. Thank you. I um, hope that explains, uh, gives you a bit more of an understanding about this sound, sound therapy. I've had, uh, I've been on a few online sessions with Jay and uh, I, I really look forward to it because I know I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> it's very, very relaxing. And uh, yeah, and I've also been to live sessions as well. There is a difference, but it still has a, a great effect. So does anybody else know or had an experience of sound, sound healing? Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. OK, so I'm going to uh, explain about uh, the chakras. So am I all right to share my screen, Ritu? Mm -hmm. OK. Okay, so these, uh, I know the majority of you know about the energy centers. So there are seven main energy centers, main chakras. And the first one is the base chakra. So that's found at the bottom of the spine. I will go through these um, uh, individually. Uh, if you go up to just below your navel, you have the sacral chakra. And then the solar plexus is found. This is all in the middle of your body. And there are points on your skeleton, on your spine, where, where the points of the uh, chakra actually meet. So the solar plexus is found uh, just under the rib cage. And the heart is the middle of your chest. So where a lot of people, when we say put your hand on your heart, you know, when I say it, I mean the heart chakra. So it's really like in the middle of your chest, not on your left hand side, where the physical, where the physical heart is. And then you've got um, your throat chakra, your third eye, which is like here and inside your body and uh, your crown chakra just above your head, just at the top of your head. Um, the chakras are really like little funnels. So you can imagine like, um, you know, one of these speaking cones, uh, if you have, like one coming out here and from the middle of your head and then the other one going at the back. So your chakras, actually the energy comes in through your back and goes out through your front. So that's why when you go and you know, you're near somebody, but you're not that close and you just pick things up and, or you shudder, 
uh, that's because your energy is interacting with their energy because of your energy field. And uh, not to say that that person's a bad person or anything like that, it's just that they're not resonating on the same energy as you are. So your chakras are, are very, very important. And I'm just going to go through each one. So the root chakra, like I said, is found at the bottom of your spine. The last three vertebrae. Each chakra has a color. This one is red. And it's all about uh, your survival, your, uh, your physical identity and your safety and security. Uh, it's very, very important for grounding. So uh, I'm in a group. Um, in a tribe and every day we do the grounding uh, throughout the day we set roots say uh, imagine roots coming out from either the base from the root chakra or the bottom of our feet going deep into mother earth and that helps uh, to bring us down especially if you're, you're daydreaming or you're just scattered really really helps you helps you to ground and come back into your body so each Chakra as well uh, is responsible or has an effect on the that the area that it's in. So with the root chakra, the physical effects can be, I mean, there's more to, to it than these. So it can be arthritis if you're constipated, especially constantly constipated, or you have bladder or uh, colon problems. That is a sign of your root chakra being out of balance leg problems, knee problems, all you need, uh, root chakra. And on an emotional level, you know, you can be very, very insecure, especially if, you know, like this, this period, a lot of people are not getting the regular income that they, they normally have. So they'll be worrying about whether they can afford to pay the mortgages and things like that. So they have a lot of insecurities. So they will have a lot, you know, it won't be surprising if their root chakra is out of balance. When we are aligned, we are grounded and we feel secure and, um, you know, we were just full of energy and we just want to get 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 on and get things done. And like it says there, we have a good work ethic, um, which helps us to pay our bills and other things. So moving up from there is the sacral chakra. I mean, you can put your hand on this area if you want to just feel, see if you're aware of it. Uh, that's, like I said, just below the navel and above the pubic bone. And the colour for this is orange. So this is all about relationships, your creativity, uh, your sexuality. And this is the area of pleasure. Um, what I forgot to mention, the, uh, uh, the word for the base, which you, you saw is I am. So that's about identity. This one is I feel. So when it's out of balance, um, you have lower back pain, you have urinary problems, um, impotency uh, will be affected as well when you've got relationships, uh, relationship problems, not just with a partner, but any relationship. And it's about our feeling of self-worth. Um, so <laughs> this is really, really important. So when it is balanced, your self-worth is really good. Your self-esteem, you're feeling really good about yourself. Um, relationships are good and um, of course your sexuality and you'll find suddenly you, you, you become more creative um, when at the beginning of the uh, pandemic I stayed with a friend because she was looking after her uh, mother who had got Alzheimer's and I knew if I didn't go she would go downhill mentally and it was interesting because I think the second day I was there she said do you know I've been wanting to do this and um, I just can't do it. It's just my creativity has been blocked, but suddenly I've got the I've got um, the willpower to do it, and it was just wonderful to see her do that. And she never stopped after that. So if you want to put your hand just below your rib cage, in the middle of your your abdomen, and this one, the solar plexus is yellow, and this is about self esteem, confidence. Um, so when you are feeling a bit low and you're feeling that you've got that scared or you've got to do something and you get nervous, it's really good to put your, just put your hand on there, do some deep breathing. Uh, the colour is yellow and the word is I do. So it's an action, an action uh, chakra. And 
Again, when it's in alignment, you have self-confidence, you have uh, the willpower. And when it's blocked, you will get digestive issues. Uh, perhaps you have diabetes and eating disorders. And like it says, heartburn and indigestion. I'm going through this quickly because uh, I want to get on to Jay. <laughs> So the fourth one is the heart chakra. So again, like I said, in the center of the chest, which the color is green, usually an emerald green. A lot of people use pink as well. And that is, of course, full of love and compassion. And this is where you get your self-love. This is where you get your self-compassion. And it actually joins the bottom three chakras. So the lower chakras are to do with the physical world. And then the top three are to do with the spiritual world. So and this connects both, both uh, levels. It's the ability to love and to connect with others. Um, and yeah, of course, if you have problems, you've got heart problems. Um, people with uh, uh, carpal tunnel, is that's, that's heart, heart stuff, that's heart, because it's on the um, heart protection uh, meridian. So when you've got carpal tunnel, you've got emotional imbalances going on, heart chakra imbalances going on. And a lot of lung problems, grief, guilt. And um, yeah, and it says that you, you tend to put others, other people first. And this is what this self-love is about, putting yourself first, but obviously not to the detriment of ignoring others. But the blockages is when you put uh, everybody first and you don't take care of yourself at all. Then we come to the fifth chakra, which is the throat chakra. And that is, of course, really uh, located in the throat and it's blue color. So if you can put your hand there, you can also imagine blue there. And that is about communication. It's about whether you actually speaking your truth or not speaking your truth. And usually when people are talking about something and they have a blockage, they, they'll cough or they'll sneeze or something will happen. And it's not because they've got a cough, it's because of what they're saying. So just listen to what people are saying when they cough and things like that. And it's also about hearing. So you can actually hear voices. I have heard voices here a few times, not all the time. And um, actually could hear somebody speaking in my throat, somebody else. So I'm sure a few of you can do that anyway, but it's about, of course, listening to people, listening to what they're really saying and speaking your truth. So when it's in alignment, you know, you listen with compassion and love and, um, and you speak with confidence and speak with compassion as well. So, I know a lot of us in certain situations, we don't want to say things because we know it's good to make it worse. But if you have that courage to actually say the truth, you'll find that the consequence isn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. And of course, blockages, you've got your, your voice, your throat um, and your mouth, your teeth, your gums. So if you've got anything going off there, perhaps your throat chakra is out of balance. Then we come to the third eye. So this is on the forehead between the eyes and the color is indigo. The third eye actually doesn't go straight from the back to the front, it goes at an angle. So it comes up here and it, it comes out here, this side. This side. Um, so if you've got blockages, you'll probably get my, uh, headaches, migraine, uh, affecting with your, your sight, your hearing, and obviously, yeah, most important, your concentration. Um, so it says here, people who are know-it-all, uh, are not in touch with their tuition because they've got a block there. <laughs> um, and when it's open and in alignment, uh, you can, you know, it's your seat of intuition. This is where you've, your intuition comes to you. And you're able, of course, to see, you know, when you step back and you look at the bigger picture, not embroiled in, in all the drama, that is where, when your third eye is in balance. And Finally, the crown chakra. There are other chakras, but the seven, most people concentrate on the seven chakras. So that's at the top of the head. It's uh, violet, or, violet or white. And yet this is your knowingness. Um, I know it's your awareness, your intelligence. And it yeah, connects to every, every, uh, every other chakra. And it links all the systems and the organs together. 
So when it is open, you've got really good connection with the divine and um, yeah, and of course your life purpose. And again, when it's blocked, you, you just feel disconnected. So a lot of people who are depressed are disconnected. The crown chakra is really closed. And um, yeah, you just, you know, feel like the divine God has left you. Um, but you're, you're stuck in the third, in the third 3D, third dimension. So it's all about material stuff and, and money and, and, and that. So what uh, Jay is going to do now is to I'll stop sharing the screen. Is to ask you to lay down and prepare because what she'll do now is to help you align your chakras. So when you're ready, Jay, thank you very much. Thank you. Right, so if you could all, I'll give you a couple of minutes to find somewhere comfortable to lie down. Please um, have a blanket or something to put over you because you will start to feel cold. Also um, have a glass of water because at the end of it, you will need to drink some water because we're working with energy. Um, the other thing is also, um, you may experience some tingling in the body. You may even experience a slight pain. If this happens, just breathe into it because it will release. That is just a sign of energy moving in the body. So it's nothing to be alarmed about. You may just feel these kind of sensations going on. If you find the volume is too loud, you'll need to adjust it on your device that you're using. So please do that. And at any time, um, can you please make sure you're all muted? Rita, there's a couple of people that aren't muted. Are you able to mute everybody, please? Um, you don't have to have your screen on. You can switch your screen off if you prefer. There will be gaps in between. There will be gaps, will be silence. Um, it's not because I've finished. It's because I need to let the energy just do its work while we're going through the process. So don't think, oh, what's happened? It's all gone quiet. It hasn't all gone quiet. It's quiet for a reason. Um, and you'll know when we're finishing because I'll bring you out. If you start to feel sleepy or you fall asleep, that is absolutely fine. That's very normal as well. Um, so don't force yourself to stay awake. Just relax and enjoy it completely. And um, I'll bring you, it'll be about, how, I don't know how long I've got, maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. But you'll know when we're finished. So I'm just going to move my laptop into the right place. And I'll be with you in a couple of minutes. Just want to check everybody's muted. Okay, we've still got one person that's not muted. It's uh, Mangaliji. Uh, Rita, are you able to mute the person, please? Because I can't. Okay, I'm just going to mute myself. Okay, can someone let me know if they can hear me, please, before I start? Yes, yes I can hear you. Okay, thank you for that. I appreciate that. It's quite a lot of equipment to set up. Let me just make sure if you want to see. Okay. Okay, so I want you to all lie down or wherever you are, just relax. And we're going to start by taking a couple of deep breaths in and out. 
So I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you breathe in and you're breathing out, with each out breath, you're going to start to relax your body. Okay, so breathe in through your nose. Rita, there's someone that's still or not on mute and I can hear them. Can you see who it is, please? Take a deep breath in and breathe out. We're going to start with grounding, which is something we just spoke about just now. So I want you to imagine a beautiful white light. It's coming in from Mother Earth and it's coming up your feet into your legs and into the area where your root chakra is, which is at the bottom of your spine. Allow this light to fill. And as you breathe in this light, I want you to breathe out any dark light that may be there. Breathing in light, white light and breathing out any dark light. Feel this white light filling the area of your root chakra and all the area around there. Now I want you to move that light up towards your sacral which is below the belly button area Breathing in through Mother Earth and through the root chakra up into the sacral area, this beautiful white light. Allow it to expand and as you breathe out, release any dark colours that may be there. Breathing in and breathing out. And with each out breath, if you need to make a sound to release that energy, just go ahead and do that because you should all be on mute and no one else will hear you. So breathing in and breathing out. Yes, that's right. Now we're going to move that white light up to our solar plexus area. The area just below your rib cage. Breathing in that white light from the root and the sacral up to the solar plexus. Allow it to expand in that area. And then as you breathe out, let any dark colours leave the area. Release. That's right. Moving up now, we're going to breathe in white light from the root through the sacral, through the solar plexus, up 
into the heart area. Breathe in the white light and breathe out any dark light. The heart area is the area of unity between the physical levels of the chakras, which are the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus, and the ones that we call the spiritual chakras, which are the throat, the third eye, and the crown. It's a unity between the material, the physical plane, and the spiritual. Breathing in white light and release any dark colours. And now I want you to move up to that throat area. Breathing in expansive white light. Allow it to fill the body now. The light is pure of the highest vibration. Breathing in white light and breathe out any dark colours. Now I want you to move that white light up towards your third eye, which is at the forehead. Breathe in the white light and breathe out any light that doesn't serve you well there. Breathing in and breathing out. And now we're moving to the crown chakra. The one which is the highest vibration, the connection to source whatever you want to call it, God, the universe. Breathe in white light and breathe out any light that doesn't serve you. Breathe in the light and breathe out any light that doesn't serve you. Now, I just want you to reach above that crown and connect to source, connect to the universe, so that we create a clear, defined funnel for our chakra lights to come in, so we can energize these chakras fully, vibrating at the right frequency for each of them. So these chakras can also energize your organs that are served by them. Breathe in and breathe out. And as you're breathing in and breathing out, you are going deeper and deeper into a state of relaxation. awakening the chakras to receive the light in and receive the spiritual sound related to those chakras.
the root chakra is the beautiful colour of red. I want you to imagine this beautiful red colour coming in through the ground and filling your root chakra. Just allow it to glow and expand the whole area. And as it expands, you will be feeling stillness and stability, security and safety. Allow the red light to fully embrace that solar plexus area, bringing you balance and groundedness to Mother Earth. And as it does this, you're feeling strong, stable, secure, full of energy and vitality. And the sound of the root, the spiritual sound, is Lam. Lam. Vitality, confidence. The deep sound of the root chakra is glowing and expansive now deep red, filling you with energy and security, feeling safe. Yeah. 
creative, emotionally expressive and emotionally well-being. solar plexus is the one just above your belly button and just below the rib cage. And it's a beautiful yellow light. Some people like to have a little bit of orange in it. Choose what you feel is right for you but on the shade of yellow. And the Biju mantra for this one that spiritual sound is Ram. Control. 
fill it till it feels just right for you. The solar plexus is also known as the fire sign as well, associated with fire. The fire gives us warmth, makes us feel warm and glowy. So allow this solar plexus yellow colour to make you feel that warmth. As you breathe in more yellow, you begin to relax and balance that chakra and the digestive system that's with it. The balance is between the mental body and your personal power. Giving you self-confidence and willpower. Ram. So a transformation center, burning away the energies, the negative energies of the lower chakras, so the, of the root chakra and the sacral chakra. of the divine nature. This is where it is I do. I do live my life with positive thoughts, feelings, beliefs and manifesting the life I so desire. This is now our connection place to move to the higher levels of consciousness, the centre point for the energy systems, the spiritual centre. I want you to bring in that green light, Mother Earth. And 
and allow it to expand in that heart center. And the spiritual sound for this center is yum. center that we can have acts of kindness and compassion without judgment. You open your heart and feel the love and peace and the inner fulfillment. spiritual realms with the throat chakra, the beautiful blue light. I want you to bring it in from that open channel above your crown and fill it expansively into your throat area. This area is about space and sound and the sound is hum. Um. 
throat area, the throat chakra, allows you to be authentic with your expression, what you say, not just inwardly, but also outwardly to the world and through your relationships. So it's about I speak. And when you speak, authentically, you feel calm, you're able to express your creativity, your expression is with clarity and graciousness, the expression of no judgment but just awareness. It's also a place where we hear the sounds of the higher self and of the higher realms. As you fill this throat chakra with this beautiful blue light, you become very aware of your thoughts, your words and your actions. Aware of the connection with your physical presence and the spiritual awareness opening you up to higher realms of knowledge and wisdom. spiritual sound for this is Aum. Aum. I want you to bring in that beautiful indigo colour from above through your crown chakra and fill that third eye with expansive colour bringing you intuitive wisdom, inner knowledge. It's about I see. And as you fill it in, fill, fill that colour in, you become more focused with willpower. higher intu intuitive insight with greater clarity and integrity. Focusing you on a place where the super subconscious resides, allowing you to move 
between multi-dimensionals and reality and self-realization. for our crown chakra and as we bring in this violet light from above through the connection we have made with the universe we chant the sound OM This is the source of where we connect to the higher states of consciousness, to the highest state of ourselves, a place of growth, of human growth consciousness, liberated and connected to all that exists. It is in this place that we have the potential for multi-dimensional universal experiences which transcends us through no limitations, no separation between self and the divine. It's all about I know.
balance of expansionness. So from, from your root, your mother earth, I want you to bring up a red light and bring it up through the front of your body, over the top of your head, round your back and down back through to your feet. And now bring in the orange colour through the feet, through the front of the body, up over your head and back down through your back and back to your feet. Bring in the yellow light from your feet area, cover the front of your body round over your head and back down your back down to your feet and now the green color again bring that color up from the feet through the front of your body over the head and back down With the heart, we're going to bring that pink colour in as well, the higher vibration of the heart from the front, from the feet area, imagine it coming up your front, over your head, down the back, down to your feet. Now the blue, imagine this light front, over your head, and down the back of you, back to your feet. This beautiful indigo light from the higher realms, bring it up through your feet, round the front, over the head, back down the back to your feet. And the violet light from the feet travels up the front of your body and over the head and round the back and down to the feet. Now you have all the colours of your aura covering your physical body. I want you to just completely cover it like a circle, a sphere around you, fully protecting your physical body as well as all the layers within the realms of our physical body. The emotional, the mental, the causal, spiritual, the soul level. This is your protection conserving you of your energies and ensuring your vibrations stay at a level that resonates for that part of the body. Now, just going to say thank you the universe for nourishing us and to Mother Earth, sealing our energy within us. to the room where you are. Breathing into your body, breathing in, blood, and breathing out. 
Thank you, the universe for giving us the opportunity for the self-healing. And in your own time, I want you to start to wriggle your toes and your feet. Your hands, your fingers. And just slowly shift your shoulders, rolling them backwards, gently and forwards. your awareness into the room and just feel the expansiveness of all the light that is radiating now in your aura, in your auric field and fill the room with it, fill it as wide as you can and as bright as you can and take it just that more further. Fill the whole home that you live in with this beautiful, radiating, multicolored lights. And take it a step further through the town where you live in, showing compassion and love, awareness, divinity just share that light as wide as you can reach it through your country the earth right through to the universe the multi-dimensional universe we are all connected connected through energy through light and sound back to yourself again and in your own time when you're ready you can sit up please have a glass of water and namaste Can you hear me? Can everyone hear me? Yeah. How are we all feeling? Are we all okay? Yeah. Thank you, Jay. Oh, good. I feel so refreshed. And I have yeah. to say that both my doggies were snoring. One of them was snuggled up with me and he was snoring and he was so relaxed. They both were. And then at the very end, the vibrations were running through me, you know, with this change of sound. Yeah. And one of the dogs, the Yorkie, like your little one, he started growling. <laughs> so he was <laughs> definitely a felt it. It was amazing. Thank you. I feel so refreshed. Thank you for sharing, Emma. Thank you. Can I just also say that I was I was lying on the floor and mm -hmm. I could just feel the vibration. I don't know what it was. It was like a tingling sensation and then it was vibration. And I just, and rather than feeling cold, I was feeling warm at the end, like this rush through my cheeks and my head. I don't, is that right? It I can be. Some people, some people get very cold. Some people get very hot. When you're very hot, it's a huge energetic release, usually. That's why the temperature rises um, 
And the vibration you're feeling is the vibration that of the sound moving through. I know we're over Zoom, but people do experience that vibration in their own physical space, traveling into their body. So it is, it's, it's perfect. I hear it all the time. So it's very normal. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. Like I feel completely calm and relaxed. Yes. And actually before coming on to this, I was actually having a bit of a panic attack this morning because I'm currently suffering from depression um, due to work related issues. So this was like the best thing ever that I've just experienced. Really pleased to hear that, Tina. Just yeah, hold no, on to so that. Much. Just hold on to the colours and the vibrations and, you know, put the other negative thoughts aside and just um, to keep those vibrations high. Yeah, no, thank you so much. You're welcome. Anyone else wants to share anything or felt they need to come? I never felt this good before. I'm so happy and I want, I want to try it sometimes again. Oh, it's really loaded. I'm sure Rita will arrange something again at some point for sure, definitely. Something different, you feel. Good, good. I'm really pleased for you. I've heard um, okay. Cool I Vinda, sorry. Sorry, what did you say, Cool Vinda? I said I personally feel great because I have done this sort of stuff before as well, um, as part of my healing. But today my daughter done it. And can I just show you something? Sure. What am I? Oh, what's she, what's happened there? What's she doing? She's fallen asleep. Oh, <laughs> bless her. Yeah. don't wake her up. Just let her rest because I've just left sleeping. her there. But she actually, I didn't realise she was laying next to me because I was kind of like sneezing as well. But I got up and she's actually fallen asleep listening to you, which is a good thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, she and uh, just leave her. She'll wake up in her own time. I am going to leave her. I just yeah. wanted to show you what effect you had on my child. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does take you deep down into your um, inner soul and calms us down. So with me, I've been suffering with a lot of um, heavy headedness, mm -hmm. and anxiety. So I think that's lifted and cleared my head. Oh, good. And, uh, cleansed it. So, yeah, I feel a lot, lot more cleanse, cleansed and now, you know, breathing in all the lovely um, energy through the root and all that. That was amazing, you know. And to think we've gone through life not knowing that. <laughs> yeah. you know? Well, now you have some tools to help you on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, you know, even though you may not have the instruments, you can definitely practice some of those routines that we did to enhance your your chakras and your aura. The aura is what's outside of you, right around you. And when we come in contact with um, vibrations that aren't very good, they penetrate into our aura and they stick if we don't know how to release them. Um, so it's really important to try and keep your aura as clean as possible. And that last bit where we were just coating ourselves with the different colors of the chakras is a really, really great exercise to do every day. Mm. Yeah, so it was nice to be able to send it out to the neighborhood and to the house and the neighborhood and everywhere because that's where the chakras you say the negative chakra or negative aura is around it mm -hmm. and they penetrate yeah I felt that a lot 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 but I didn't know what it was but I could sense something negative for many years and I couldn't work it out how to get rid of it but hopefully the rainbows and all that yeah that's good. Excellent, Lata. Yeah, yeah. Could I just add here for yeah. everyone's information that this recording is going to be on our web page uh, where all our events are logged, online events are. So it's not a one off. If you want to revisit it, you will be able to. So it's a resource we can use again and again. Thanks to Jay. Jay, that was fantastic. That was amazing. Thanks, Sam. Okay. And if anyone wants to experience a. Hey, 
sound bath again, a sound healing session. I do one on the last Thursday of every month. So I've left my phone number there if anybody is interested. There is one this Thursday. It's always at eight o'clock. Oh, bless her. Cool, Vinda. <laughs> I eight o'clock. I don't mind. Okay, so it's on the last Thursday of each month at eight o'clock in the evening. If anyone's interested, you can drop me a message. Um, it's different each time. It's not always the same. Today was crystal bowls, something very different. Anybody else? Everyone else okay? Feeling okay? Jay, uh, first time. It's the first time I've done it, and I felt that I was a bit restless. Mm -hmm. um, is that normal or is that um, because I'm not letting the colours come in? And I think what? probably a little bit of resistance I'm sensing with you. Yeah. Um, Audrey, is that what you're getting as well? Resistance. Yeah. 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 Resistance. You need to kind of just let it be. Mm -hmm. um, probably need to talk offline as to what it is that's right. stopping you from doing that, you know, accepting what's coming in. Mm hmm yeah. yeah, I know. I know Mina, and I'm and I'm glad you glad you're on here, Mina. <laughs> Hi, Audrey. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> had your um. Well, I'll talk to you after. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we've got lots of uh, messages on here. That was really lovely. Thank you, uh, Jay. And uh, mine was really strong when I got to the solar plexus and the heart, and then just going up, just vibrating and bodies shifting and jerking and um it was wonderful thank you so much so there's right. many of them saying it's wonderful and um i don't know who a40 is but they oh, said okay. thank you very much it was a brilliant session mm. uh, yeah lata has said her head cleared she feels much lighter uh, yeah and we've seen colwinda's daughter fast asleep <laughs> Jeanette, do you want to say something? Yes, I want to say that was really good. I really enjoyed that, although I drifted in and out of it. A bit, <laughs> and I feel really good now. Thank you. You're welcome, Jen. Wonderful, wonderful. So, yes, uh, Ritu's got her number there. Number. And uh, in the chat. Um, so, and... Yeah, Colwinda Col Col has put her number on. Um, I'm just going to share. Can I just say something before, um, sorry to interrupt. Um, I know somebody on here was saying that she's feeling slightly depressed. Um, can you hear me, everybody? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I think it was Tina that was saying that she's yeah. Um. I um I do coach um depression uh, people with depression as well. Um I do it off my own back. I'm not I'm not um at all um should I say qualified in anything at the moment. I am doing a course but I do I've done it off my own back for a few years now. So okay. if you ever need to talk, I mean I have my number there so you're more than welcome to, you know, chat. No judgments at all. And that goes for anybody. If you ever need a chat or anything like that, my number any judgments, there's no judgments at all from me. Um, so um it'll be absolutely private and nothing will go anywhere. It will just be my ears and that's it. Yeah, no, thank you, Corinda. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I just want to share, uh, it, it's only the information that we've got. Just before I do that, I want to say thank you very much to everyone. And um, I realise I, I haven't told you who I am, for those who don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> so I am Audrey Scully, and uh, I have been a, a complementary therapist for over 20 years. And uh, now I am a, a transformational healer, mentor and speaker. So through the therapies that I've, I, you know, started doing, I quickly learned that a lot of the um, conditions that people have got is based on emotions, yeah. on your thoughts, on, you know, what's happening around, on what you're eating, on the environment. And um, now I've got to the point where the, I'm actually, um, yeah, the therapies I'm doing now, the, uh, the mentoring, is just finding it just so powerful. I mean, there's a few people on here who are in, in the tribe I'm in, um, and we have weekly sessions. 
Um, and it just blows me away how simple um, the techniques are, but how powerful they are. Uh, so they help, again, like any, anything from anxiety to depression, from, um, I mean, my speciality is helping women so struggling in relationships. Um, and, and basically, it's a relationship with yourself. So I help you to help the, you, the relationship with you improve, you know, your self-worth, your, your self, uh, self-esteem and to love yourself more. So that's quite appropriate why I'm on here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I do therapies, uh, do mentoring and um, yeah, I'm a healer as well. Um, and we've got a great group of healers coming up in the ranks as well. So yes, if anybody wants to contact me. Um, I'll just quickly share the screen. Um, yeah. So that is just my details. I didn't put yours on, Ritu, but you've got it on there. I'm not sure you wanted the, your number. Uh, so that's where you can contact us all. Ritu, do you want to end this wonderful, these wonderful, uh, yes, I must say thank you so much to Ritu for um, asking me to uh, come and lead these sessions. It's been awesome and it's just been lovely because we had um, a lady on. So all, all these are, are being, are, are on, um, is it, is it YouTube or on your, have you got it on your website yet, Ritu? What's that, sorry? Yeah, it's on Ritu's website. We've had um, a session on gratitude, uh, yeah. journaling, which was wonderful. And then um, Siobhan Moss. And then uh, Donna Joseph came and talked about speak, searching for your truth. That was very emotional. Very emotional session, wasn't it, Ritu? Yeah. Uh, very, very powerful as well. So if you want to look on that, that's on uh, Ritu's website as well. Um, is it is it this uh, is it the Ritu Sharma? Or yes. What I'll do is I'll put it on here um, so that people can access it. Yeah, wonderful. So Ritu's just putting it on in the chat if you want to access the information there. And uh, I want to say thank you very much all of you for, for coming on here and, and supporting us. And again, if you want to be part of the um, the Kashala UK WhatsApp group and Facebook group, um, just let Ritu know and give you your information. Okay, has everybody got it all down? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Okay, I'll stop sharing. Sure. I'll just hand you over to Ritu. Thank you so much, Audrey. Um, thank you so much for coming along and doing the whole thing. This was the fourth of our uh, series of four workshops that we decided to do on self-love. Mm -hmm. And I totally believe Audrey will have to run them again, uh, considering the impact uh, and the change and you know all this positivity I've seen. So I totally believe we'll have to run them again, uh, bring on all these lovely healers, therapists, you know, practitioners like Jay, like yourself on and uh, empower women who need to start to believe in themselves and all of us need to start to believe more in ourselves. Jay, I want to say a huge thank you, a heartfelt thank you for today and for the ones you've done before and the ones you're going to do stuff for us in future. This was absolutely amazing. I felt so energetic all of a sudden um, and it, it, it was kind of in between and I felt as if you know, first I felt totally relaxed and then there was a surge of energy and I got filled with this energetic vibe where I wanted to get up and do stuff. It was really beautiful. Thank you so much for this. Um, we are also finding 30 stories of women who would like to share their wonderful stories of empowerment, of hardship, coming out of it and making peace with themselves and their lives and doing good for themselves and their families. So we're looking for 30 women who are ready to share their powerful stories. Uh, and we're going to create an anthology at an international level, which will be available on Amazon, which will be marketed properly and will be put out to the world for people to read 
these 30 powerful stories. We're going to start off with 30. Uh, God willing, this will be our first publication. We'll carry on doing this. But 30 people is what we are searching for now. Women who are ready to share their stories of success, of hardship, of uh, peace, making peace with life and growing from their self-love. So if you, any, um, any one of you is interested in being a part of that, please get in touch with either Audrey or myself and then, you know, we'll, we'll have a chat about that and I'll be able to share the details out as well. We are running, as I said, um, public speaking event, series of four workshops in February. So if you like our uh, Kushala UK Facebook page, or you are a part of our group, or you join me anywhere, you follow me on online, then you definitely be informed about that uh, because I quite like updating people with whatever we are doing. Um, there is an, a women empowerment event that we have every third Thursday of the month, and that is around women who are very active in creating change, and um, they, they're active women doing active work. And it's like all of us, people who have stories to share, so they come on, they share their stories, they empower people who are listening. So normally we have seven people uh, talking at, at one time in one um, event, and that happens every third Thursday of the month. So if you would like, please drop me a message and I'll be happy to share the details for that as well. We will be running a couple of social events, uh, God willing, in person getting inside a room and getting together doing bhanga that, that I love so much. Uh, but if not, we are planning to hold an online social event where uh, we will create some happiness as much as we can. So it is an ongoing thing. If you have ideas, if you'd like us to bring something to you which you think and believe can make a positive change, we'd be more than happy to um, listen to you and try and materialize that as well so thank you so much for today thank you so much for coming on and sharing your beautiful energies here with us um and all i want to say is uh, thank you so much god bless thank you so much thank you everyone thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you very much have a wonderful day thank you all thank, thank you all thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. very much hello kawinda's daughter <laughs> She's been listening on snippets, so it's a good for her as well. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye, bye for now. Bye. 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 I love you all. Bye. 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 Thanks all dreary to Kuvinda. Usha. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Love you to love Jay. you. Usha. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Loving girls. Till next week. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye Benji. Bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.